Rahman and Rahim. Oh, it's hot! It's hot! It is hot. It engraves on metal as well. Welcome and greetings, Sally Shanma here and welcome to my little main cave. Welcome to more tech and gadget reviews. Today in this video I have got another laser engraver sitting right here. This is from Run Messi 5 Watt Laser Engraver. Now previously I have reviewed a couple of laser engravers, all desktop laser engravers, including the DIY type. Sadly, none of them was able to carve or laser engrave metal material. And many people kept asking me if there was any affordable desktop laser engraver that was able to carve or laser engrave on metal as well. Well, right here we have Run Messi, which is designed to laser engrave and carve on different types of material, including metal. That is why this laser engraver is much better compared to the previous laser engravers that I have reviewed. Let's check out the laser engraver in action and see how I was able to carve and laser engrave different types of materials. Right here is the Run Messi laser engraver, desktop laser engraver, nothing much, no buttons on it. All you see is just these things. Uh, there's a sticker and some LEDs that show you the operating of laser engraver. At this side, you have DC 12 volt power supply, you have the USB connection, USB C, and this is right now I do not see anything in this one. Probably this is the future expansion. Inside, if you want to see the guts of the laser engraver, this is the 5 watt laser module that actually does all the job, and there's a little PCB that you see right there on top, uh, mounted in the roof of this laser engraver. We have two motors as well that move the laser around for carving. This is your laser module that actually does all the job. It does not have autofocus. You will have to do some focus all by yourself, which is pretty easy because they have supplied you 
uh, a paper strip that you can use, a black paper strip that you can use, and all you need to do is rotate the lens cap and focus the laser for your carving needs. Now, as you have watched, I have been carving a lot of different materials, including the plastic. Like you can see, my little rock crawler has got a logo as well at this side and at this side you have also watched i carve ghost rider on this one some islamic writing calligraphy bismillahirrahmanirrahim and some ayahs from quran we have my logo and some quotes also i have carved coats on my wallet yeah something went wrong before i give it more power this is very very powerful laser engraver by the way so for carving on leather i used only eight percent of power just eight percent of power and hundred percent speed similarly here there's an eight percent of power if you want to see this is leather by the way and if you want to see ten percent this is how it did it actually burned the <laughs> spider belly right there in the leather so this is very very powerful laser in there you have to uh have to have some you know extra material to experiment with the power before you actually carve the real one you know so uh do experiment before carving because once again the laser is very very powerful so on the leather and wood here, uh, I mean, for this kind of wood, I was able to go 20%, which actually carves a little bit deeper, 10% right here, and this is 20% or 25%, if I remember right. On the leather, only 10% is doing the job maximum right now. You can see this is my iPad, okay, an iPad cover. I have carved, stay positive, work hard, make make it happen and this is only 10 percent power of uh, of the laser now here we have wooden blocks which i use about 40 percent of power and you can see it is really nice and dark carving on a hard wood this is basically hard wood now let's bring the metal in the view because this is what people are really really concerned about if this laser engraver carves in metal or not so here we have some metal strips sent by the company also together with the laser engraver they came together with the laser engraver and you can see i was able to write my son's name hadi ali on this one okay and then we have this one arish ali by the way this is 100 percent uh you know laser power and 70 percent laser speed i mean the speed of the movement of the head and then i have this one which didn't carve pretty well but still i can see a little bit of ghost rider and at the back side i tried to carve something which is not visible but this one uh, did a better job with a little bit of less speed 60 percent but not very you know satisfactory still uh watchable i mean you can see that there is something carved on the metal however different types of metals like for example i have this a scrapper and look at the quality of engraving i mean this laser engraving this carving is beautiful very very clear on this piece of metal now i'm not sure what kind of metal is this but on this one i was able to laser engrave and carve really well yes you can watch right here this snake looks this cobra looks absolutely fantastic all right so this is this this was a quick overview of this laser engraver and you have watched it now let me show you how i use the app just to start the app on your smartphone and you have a couple of options choose photos uh, it will take you to your album you can choose what you want to laser engrave Ad uh, adjust the size and uh, properties then click next um, after this once it's loaded uh, you will be able to set the power levels the speed levels and once you've done that all you need to do is preview and make sure everything is right uh, the area uh, of laser engraving and then start engraving that's just that simple with this one it uses a bluetooth to connect to your laser engraver and does a fantastic job
All right, let me give you a quick and complete overview of the Mini Laser Engraver app. When you run the app, you will see the LED light tutorial, what each LED light do. You can skip it, but basically it skips in a few seconds. And here you can easily create using photo album, material library, whiteboard, photograph. That means use your camera to take a photo and then laser engraver carve it. And QR code and barcode. Now starting with photo album, scroll down to whatever pictures you want to, uh, you know, engrave. So for example, I've downloaded a couple of uh, vector graphics that actually carve very well. So you can choose any of this picture and start carving. In material library, you have just a few uh, items, not many, and they said that they will actually add more but I haven't seen much more coming actually no updates so basically I mostly do the job with photo album I can download the stuff and you know start doing from there now on a whiteboard you can have a complete uh, you know start from scratch and you can design whatever you want uh, then you have photograph as I said when you have your photograph you can use your camera to take a photo and carve that so uh, next one is QR code and barcode that you can carve or laser engrave now let's say if we start with a photo album all you need to do is go down and choose a uh, photo and after that you can simply resize it using your uh, pinching or using two fingers on the screen you can resize it or you can type uh, your values like X, Y, width and height of your uh, image. So for example, I just want the uh, width and height to be 30. Just say this, click, click, and it actually adjusts the next one automatically. So once you have adjusted it, you have more options down here like reset, size, text, eraser, mirror, invert, mask, contrast. Okay, and then you have engrave, engrave quick, outline, and grayscale. So you can go grayscale. If you have a color uh, picture, you can go grayscale and you can engrave quickly or just go for engrave. You can also add text. Okay, and all you need to do is just type your text. For example, I'll just say uh, my name Ali Shanmau right here. Basically, you can also put some emojis in it, you know. So uh, whatever you like, you can search, depending on your phone search capabilities, you can put some emojis and stuff like that. Okay, once you are done it, you can resize it as you like, move it around and, you know, uh, adjust your image as you like. Okay, see, you can resize it and rotate and change the angle. All right, and you can also change the font different styles as you like okay so only a few styles are available but basically they will do the job uh, depending on what you like okay uh, you ha also have eraser you can mirror the image stuff like that once you have done this you can click on next and you should be able to uh, connect to your device if your device is on Make sure your Bluetooth is on and if it is on, you should be able to see your device when you click on scan. Click on your device and it will be connected and it will take you to the next screen. Right here you have options for preview or you can move the laser head around using these uh, arrows down here like kind of joints, joystick. Okay, and wait for the picture to load. Once the picture is uploaded to the laser engraver, you will hear uh, your laser moving around, okay, and adjusting itself, and then you will have this option, engraving configuration. In engraving configuration, you can click and choose like brown paper, cardboard, hardwood, plastic, biscuit, metallic pen, and leather wood. So what you want to engrave based on that, you can choose, and then you can adjust power. Normally, they have already adjusted powers, power and speed settings for you, but I would suggest you play with that because the laser is really very, very powerful. For example, if you go leather and wood, I would suggest maximum you do, uh, you start with, you know, 15% of laser power, 100% speed and preview configuration power, uh, whatever you like. 65 is a very good one to preview without hurting your eyes. The preview laser you have to do because you want to adjust the laser pointer to be the smallest and then you will have the best results. So once you've done that, you can save and after that you can click on preview to see the area it will engrave. And after that, just click on start engraving. 
and your engraver will start working so it's just basically that simple now if you want to start with whiteboard as i said you can design everything all by yourself um, from the material library from the photo album take a photo for example my kitties okay and adjust the size and you know you can go with the outline or engraving uh, you can also do the masking okay so you have different types of masks right here uh, whatever suits your style you can use it to adjust masking okay and after that you're you're basically ready you just add some text change the size and send it over to uh, engrave so it's just basically that easy and i simply love this app you don't need a computer you can do everything right here from the app however if you want to use computer they have an app for your computer there's a software for your computer as well that you can use to design even better and uh, more uh, accurately and use the Ramesi laser engraver all right i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a big like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that little bell icon turn on all the notifications so you can stay updated for all the new upcoming uploads now if you want to go for this laser engraver it's on kickstarter check out the links in video description you can back up the project and get this laser engraver earlier and enjoy laser engraving on different types of materials stay tuned for more videos i am outy i have a lot more work to do Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.